You still run? Only when chased. Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Atlantic Chase, the Kriegsmarine against the Home Fleet, 1939 to 1942. This is the Intercept Series, Volume 1. Uh, so, hopefully, there's going to be more uh, in this series. This is by Jeremy White, obviously, put out by GMT Games. It's a, one of their thicker boxes, so there's a lot of goodness in here. It's pretty darn heavy. Now, <clears throat> at the time I'm doing this, when this came out from GMT, uh, if you order directly from GMT, um, you will see um, probably this little pouch attached to it. Uh, it says, we regret that some errors were packed along with the contents in this box. Despite valiant time and energy spent by a great crew of proofers, the designer managed to let some screwy things slip through the cracks. Explanation and elaboration of the writer list can be found online. GMT's website, as well as the game's pages on Consum World. Um, so here we go. Um, uh, so this tells you the different errata that have gotten in there. It's a little slip. Um, so as usual, when they're on top of things, they're on top of things. So if you don't get that from, uh, if you get it from an online store then or a uh, local game store, then you probably will not get that and you'll have to download it. So anyway, uh, I know this is solo friendly. You get to play the British against the uh, Kriegsmarine. Um, it's got a map board. Um, let's take a look and see what you get inside. Here we go. All right. So you start off with a rule book. Atlantic Chase. Oh, now this is interesting for GMT. It's very unusual for GMT, in my opinion. Here's the, we have a table of contents on the front and links to the subsections that are in there. What's very interesting is this is very glossy. See the reflection of the lights here? GMT manuals are not normally glossy paper. They're normally a matte finish. That is very, very, very large print. Also, kind of unusual. Very strange. But anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, a lot of pictures, a lot of full color graphics. Just, it's the first one I've ever seen. Anyway, um, so it's a, it is a big manual. It is um, 64 pages. 64 pages. You've got an introduction, getting started, lots of full color pictures, like I said. But it's, I mean, it's pretty hefty, like on a, like a magazine or a concert program or something. It's pretty big. So, there's some, uh, the rules there. Obviously, which there is some errata. So, you have to maybe uh, mark those in there. All right, so that's the rule book. Wow, that's interesting. Sorry. I'm just shocked. Now we have a tutorial. This actually comes with a separate tutorial book. Wow, okay. And it's in episodes. So it's kind of like you're playing a video game where it says, well, we'll walk you through this first and walk you through that second. So this is a 56 page book. Also full color with example. It takes you through each tutorial as its own little lesson. Old chums. Outcomes. Saber rattling. Wow. It actually looks like you actually play the tutorials too because you see this here and this is how to play in the end um, unless it's telling you exactly what to do and set up kind of like a uh, coin game or something. Now we have the advanced rules. So 60 pages of rules were basic. And now we've got advanced rules, which is, no, nope, excuse me, fortunately the advanced rules are shorter. Advanced battle table, 16 page book. Very simple. <laughs> simple advanced rule. That made a lot of sense, didn't it? Okay, so anyway, uh, again, more examples. So these are obviously things you'd add in after a while. And then all these are that glossy. So now we've got the solitaire scenarios. 
Awesome. Solitaire. Yay. All right. Historical notes. We have a 72 page book. <laughs> Get a lot of paper in this. That is awesome. So you have blockade scenarios, Norway scenarios, breakout scenarios, Arctic scenarios. So there's a lot of game here. And these are all the solitaire ones. So wow. So let's see. We got three. 9, 13, 14, 15. 15 scenarios in the game. All the details of setup. Action tables, I guess the, the, the AI is going to use for each, you know, unique for each scenario, which is nice. That it's not generic rules that may or may not be satisfactory. So they have the two player scenario book. And with that, you get, let's see, it looks like it's a, maybe like campaigns or operational scenarios, mini scenarios. Uh, you get 21 of those. Uh, yeah, there's a campaign game. And operation one, two, three, four, and five in the campaign game. So, of course, these you could play. I don't know how much hidden information there is, but you could play this, you know, as any good gamer can play, uh, play both sides to the best of your ability if you want to. But you do have the solo scenarios. So this is a 64-page book with all the setups. A lot of work went into this. I guess they just felt that the that the glossy just just did it. Brought it all together. So cool. All right. And now we've got some cards. Let's see. So we've got an off-board map here of the Norwegian Sea, kind of a zoom in map. Norwegian Sea on the back we got Romansk. Norwegian Sea. Then we've got a German force pool. Campaign player aid, the British force pool. A German task force display. All these are then this is these are single sided. British task force display. This is the normal GMT glossy. Advanced rules player aid. That's you know four page double double fold or single fold. The Atlantic Chase player aid. So look, I didn't see what the complexity of this one was. Uh, actions menu. The various sides. You get two of these. One for each player. Duplicates. All right, so now we got to some cardboard. Oh, man, I thought there, I thought the map was what was making this heavy. Goodness gracious! All right, so we've got counter sheet one of two. There's only two counter sheets in this, so that's interesting. All right, so we've got some ship counters. We've got the Dunkirk right here. Good thick counters. They're not pre-rounded, but they punch cleanly, so they may not need. The benefit of the Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder, uh, deluxe. So the ships are named, got their stats and their classes, things like that. So those punch very cleanly. And then we've got this sheet, which has obviously another sheet of ships. And then we've got markers here. We've got attitude markers. Uh, Germans bad attitude, British good attitude. Is that I don't know how that works? Uh, damage markers, some more ships. These are kind of falling out already. It's only two sheets of counters. And then we have a map board. Ah, we got stuff underneath. Look at that. So we will open the map board here in a minute. Take a look. Let's go underneath. So we have four dice. Um, Two red, two blue, and they work. And we've got a lot of wood here. So we've got, let's see, a bag of wooden, a bag of bags of wooden pieces. So we've got some spares, clearly marked, some black wood sticks. 
These are obviously, I guess, going to be the ships. We've got some tan ones with some standard GMT cylinders. Some white ones here, also with some cylinders. We've got some brown ones here. And some red ones here. Obviously, this is going to be the British, I assume. The white's going to be the Germans. I don't know what the others are. That's my guess. And then this would appear to be some spares as well. They're just not marked as such, but maybe they aren't. Uh, but since all the colors are presented in here, I assume that's what they are. So, wow. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the game map. Let's see how this goes. The layout of it kind of reminds me of RAF, and it's like, you know, it's kind of a defense thing, uh, game. So let's take a look at the map. So here's the map board folded out. It is a GMT 8 panel, uh, 22 by 34 inch map. Um, it's kind of interesting in that it is designed for a uh, player sitting on both sides. Um, so here you've got your British... Uh, ports, I guess, and they are uh, facing this side, but then you got the German stuff and it's facing this side. So, but then like all of the charts and things are facing the German player, but then some of the charts are facing the British player. So, uh, it'd be interesting to see how you sit to play it solo. And, uh, but you know, most of us are pretty good at reading things upside down, so should not be that big a deal but it is a uh, it's a nicely little well laid out map uh, I like the big hexes as well so it'll be interesting to see how this plays a lot of reading to do first though so let's go back and take a look at what is in the box review that one more time and wrap up so if you pick up a copy of atlantic chase the kriegsmarine against the home fleet by gmt games you are going to get a bunch of wooden ship marker pieces. Nice insert there as well. Ba Boom. You're going to get one and a half, or one and two, technically, counter sheets. You're going to get two core player aids to share. You're getting the one advanced battle rules player aid. You're gonna get a German task force display, a British task force display, a British force pool schedule, a German force pool schedule, of course, because everybody's gonna have their force pools. You're gonna get two sub maps here for zooming in on the action. Then you're gonna get a massive book of two player scenarios. A massive book of solitaire scenarios. A relatively tiny book of advanced battle rules. A massive tutorial with 10 lessons. And then a moderately massive rule book of 60 plus pages of the basic rules of Atlantic Chase, as well as, oh, I forgot the spare ships and the four dice. And that game board we took a look at, which is right here. And that, oh, and if you get it from GMT, you'll probably get an errata sheet as well. And that is what you're going to get in Atlantic Chase. Yeah. Kriegsmarine against the Home Fleet, designed by Jeremy White by GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!